Alrighty. Final round. Final boss. Oh my god. Uh, bone splinters reassembling skeleton. This is too tempting. Cannot pass it up. We even thin our library down to 16 lands. The, the perfect amount. And I finally get to see reassembling skeleton action. And we'll. Our deck is obviously going to uh, continue delivering the goods. Alright, actually, we're gonna. Yeah, definitely just noble hierarch here. Oh, well, actually, not definitely, but I think it's worth it just in case we uh, hit a four drop. We could have attacked in with uh, reassembling skeleton, so it would have worked out better. We could have cast rampant growth and noble hierarch. Probably should have cast reassembling skeleton. Okay. All right. Perfect setup. Now nothing but gas. And I'll just take that. Also, should have probably got a swamp based on having the reassembling skeleton. He's stuck on two lands. And we are going to just chump here. Haven't drawn anything yet. But our deck is full of goodness, full of good things. Good things will happen. If you believe. Not sure why I didn't get in with Glint Hawk Idol there. Yes. Let me see. All right, like I, I would, I would love to draw a card, but I don't want him drawing a card. <laughs> that is the game of magic. I would love to draw a card, but I don't want him drawing a card, or my opponent drawing a card. There it is. Actually, going to lose out on a token here. And yeah, Wolf Bar just like immediately wins the game here. I guess I did need that black mana though, kind of.
Look at that. We drew a card in our deck that does a thing versus our completely mana screwed opponent. Probably better to show him the black worm. Alright, so plummet is good. That's good. That's good. Um, what else is good? Uh, that is reasonable. What don't we want? Possibly this type of card. Do I want death mark? Probably not. Just saw court homunculus really. And he's an affinity deck, so there's probably not gonna be that many targets. Uh, which of these can I cut? Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the dice. Go down to 60 land on the draw here. And yeah, I think that's that's looking real nice. Mountain. Yeah, Necrogenesis not looking too hot. Culling Dice wouldn't either. It's possible we should have got rid of both of them. And I'm just going to swamp here. The Necrogenesis will still have a chance to do something. Right now our hand is just kind of gritty in general. And now it's a lot less cruddy in general. Once again, we have a game plan. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, I'm okay with this.
down to two cards. So we can Necrogenesis, make a tokens, and splinters it away to kill the Cathodian. Or we could uh, sign of the wild bone splinters, kill the Cathodian. That seems worse. Or we could sign on Necrogenesis, which does nothing. And we have a little bit more fuel as well. E. Let's get sun, make a one one or dread drone. And also potentially make a 1-1. One, one. I think we're just going to drone. And I'm not talking about this commentary. Droning. Droning. Droning on. So plummet, plummet would be nice. That's actually real good that he attacked there since we're basically racing at this point. Since platform's gonna give us a big boost. that so we don't die. And unfortunately he's got Xaxes in two turns. And Xaxes in one turn, I meant. That's what I meant. Wish we had some plummets or aquasurian spiders. <laughs> All right, Deathmark, you have been promoted to the big leagues. And get out of here. So he's like, double strike affinity. I like his style. Alright, all this, all our cards in our sideboard are terrible, and all the cards in our main deck are excellent. So, I think that's the way it's supposed to be. I think that's the recipe for success. This hand is a recipe for success with all the fixins. This hand is, is is basically just like every other hand we've had. It just all it needs is other cards in the deck. Solid opening. We need the second black.
I'm just going to do this. Uh, it allows us to block, reassemble our skeleton, whereas if we wanted to say bone splinters that, uh, we wouldn't be able to reassemble. And next turn, we're able to scatter and bone splinters if we really want to. Nothing better than reassembling skeleton value. This curve, though. That curve, though. Alright. I think we want to avoid taking damage here we got the the avengers here assembling Avengers Assemble and Hawkeye. Alright, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. That's wrong. Just gonna ally here. Can uh, threaten to trade or chump. <laughs> so considerations are that reassembling skeleton kind of deals with that. And Palak Worm also kind of deals with that. But it is scary with like Mighty Leap. I kinda am leaning towards trading here, attempting to trade here. Since if he pumps it, it's not really all that bad. This Rukin ally isn't like really fantastic right now anyways. Our Palaka worm is gonna be doing the heavy lifting. If we get him to pump that, I'm I'm more than happy with that. That is acceptable as well. Platform is a good card. All right. Speaking of cards, he has none. And look at that plummet. Take it. Hmm. 
We are getting low. Could double block, but then I probably eh, I lose both my saplings. <laughs> I actually like double blocking. Oh wait, never mind. That that does not work. <laughs> That's a one two. So he would just kill both my saplings for free. Do not double block. Right. Okay, first first strike combat damage. Then we'll plummet that and take another damage. And let's see what he drew. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Deals with that nicely. Here we could double block the Kami if he presents himself with that, if presents us with that option. I think we shall take it. We are getting very low though. It's nice if if we do draw a land that is an evolving wilds or our bounce land, we get to play Plaquworm, and if we don't, we get to play presumably something that can block the Swift Blade and return reassembling skeleton. This Fire Slinger has done a lot of damage. Okay. Definitely not risking taking another swift blade hit. We don't have to. Okay. This fire slinger is gonna be gonna get us. It's going sailing. The clench is real. Come on, anything. Anything that's not that. This fire slinger better not kill us. We can even plummet it now. Or aqua, aqua, aqua block it. Aqua strand block it. Damn it, not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Just getting in there. Damn it, Civic Growth Chamber. <laughs> if we lose because of Civic Growth Chamber. Nothing, nothing, no, it's nothing. Okay, okay, that's good.
Worm save the day. Worm will save the day. The worm will save the day. Uh, opponent says sad face. <laughs> a black worm. Nobody has ever beat a black worm in the history of magic. Ever. Never, ever, ever. Stupid semi growth chamber. And he floods it. The perfect end to the perfect draft. Nothing could possibly get us now. Ooh. Seven. Twelve. Oh, he's dead. Guess we technically should have attacked first. GG's. We even get Aqua Strand proliferate value. Exaxes. Exactly lethal. This Fire Slinger did what? Like. What turn is it? Turn 11. It did like 10 damage. I thought I had a chance for a second. Yeah. Yeah. You had a big chance. If you had drawn um, non lands, and if. Palaka life game is pretty good against Goblin Fire Slinger. I mean, Palakorn still didn't even come close to negating the Goblin Fire Slinger's damage. It did, like, a bunch of tap damage and then even kite sail damage. GG's A Town A five a five sin in assassin whatever. Uh so yeah, three owed that draft. Let's do a wrap up video and talk about how great this deck is. About how great I played and all that good stuff.